Hey guys, so today's video is going to be an updated makeup collection. This is just pretty much the same storage and everything, but I've kind of switched some things around and I've gotten a few more things since the last uh, makeup collection that I did. So if you are interested in seeing my updated makeup collection, then just keep watching. So I'm just going to quickly just tell you a little overview of this vanity. I've shown it before, but I got this black vanity from Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, it was $150 and I got it probably about in January or a little bit before then. Um, I can't exactly remember, but I know they had this one and one in white. And the only thing I feel like I have to try and be careful of more is so because it's so black, everything shows up. So try to keep towels down or anything like that. But this actually opens up as a mirror, which you've probably seen that in the past in my last makeup video or makeup collection video. But I've put it down and I like it better this way. Um, by the way, a lot of you keep saying in the background it's really plain. I'll be putting a big mirror right here and I'll be filling up this wall with something that I find soon I'm sure so those walls will be filled up very soon to make you guys happy but um, yeah this is the overview I do have a pink little trash can and a light underneath there that came with my lights that I talked about in my last video so if you're interested I'll post my last video in the down bar then I just have like my camera box and my so my Sedona lace brush roll so and by the way these this is still makeup too and the nail polish I won't be talking about, but I keep my nail polish right there also. This mirror is from Ulta. I got it on Ulta.com. This drawer is basically like my eye bin, um, so, but I keep like my moisturizer from Cetaphil up here, the one my derm uh, prescribed to me, my BB cream, and also my Hydroxytone 90 Second Micro Reducer. I also have my eyelash curlers up here. So, in this first drawer, by the way, I got these pink drawers from Walmart a while back. Um, I did see black ones the other month whenever school supplies were coming out so that's where I get all this stuff. The first drawer has Maybelline tattoos. I have regular ones, ones from the permanent collection and ones from the um, fall collection that just came out. So I have those up there. This drawer is basically the one that I go to the most if I'm not using my naked palette. So I have my favorite quad of the moment. This is the Maybelline Eye Studio in Cozy Cashmere. And then I just have like a Kat Von D palette, some MAC Shadows, Rock and Republic, there's L'Oreal back there, uh, Estee Lauder, and Clinique. So that's what I have in the top. Down here I just have extra random stuff. Um, it just ranges from high-end and drugstore. So I have Wet n Wild, NYX, Wet n Wild, Maybelline, MAC, Victoria's Secret, Chanel. Just It all ranges in here, but they're basically um, eyeshadows or pigments or something like that. So... That's in that drawer. And then in this one, this is my lip drawer. And I don't have a lot of lip products just because I'm not a huge, huge fan. But I just have my MAC lipsticks. And underneath there, I have like some drugstore stuff, lip balms, um, my EOS lip balm that I use all the time, my favorite drugstore lipstick, which is the Revlon Soft Nude. But, yep, that's just what is in there. Going over here... I have um, just some extra brushes, like Real Technique crown brush, and um, there's like a Sedona lace brush back there. But this little jar came with my Sonia, Ka my, not my Sonia Kashuk, my Sigma brushes that I'll show you in a minute. So it's just an extra little holder. Um, I have my Mac Fix Plus right here, my Hydroxytone um, toner, my Revlon Color Stay Foundation. I have the Whipped Foundation here also. And then this uh, Chanel, Soleil Tainted Chanel Bronzer. I also have my Dream Matte Powder from Maybelline. And these are products that I use a lot too. So I just like to kind of keep them out and handy. I got these little glass containers. Um, there, I have two of them. I got them from the dollar store. So in here I just kind of have like Real Technique brushes, Sedona Lace, um, and like an e.l.f. brush I think. But... And crown brush brushes are in there too, but um, I'll be comparing Sedona Lace and Sigma very soon, so be on the lookout for that video. This brush I love, it's from Eco Tools, it's one of my favorites. Then down here, I just have an Elf Capricci brush, I love that brush so much. Then in here, I just have like eye brushes just from random brands, Sedona Lace, um, just crown brush, all different types of brands, but I also keep extra. Sigma Kabuki brushes in here because they don't fit anywhere else so I just have them in here and then this is where I keep my Sigma brushes I did get the Mr. Bunny um, collection I'll put the link down below where you can go purchase it 
But these are all the brushes that come with it. Of course, they're dirty because I use them every day. And then I also have two extra Kabuki brushes in there as well that I have. So, really love those brushes. I'll be doing a video with them soon. Then over here I have two palettes. They're both from Victoria's Secret. And then I have my NARS Dan Mari palette and my Urban Decay Vegan palette. Then over here, this is basically like my face drawer. But I do keep my Naked 1 and Naked 2 up here. Then I have my Revlon Color Stay Foundation. That's a shade up for when I self tan. That's the one I use. This is just where I keep things that I use a lot. So like pretty much my everyday work face. So I have the Dermalink Concealer, two CoverGirl mascaras. A Rimmel liner, oops, and then a L'Oreal one. Up here are some of my favorite face products of the moment. I have the MAC Millerized Skin Finish and Give Me Sun, the CVS uh, Cover Talks Tin Powder, two Rimmel blushes. Um, this one's in Spring Flower, the other one's Autumn Catwalk, and then I have the Hard Candy Fox in a Box in Spicy and Sweet. I'm a really huge face junkie. You're probably going to see that. I absolutely love face products, so. Yeah, I'm just going to warn you. <laughs> I have a Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Foundation, then the Transparent Powder to mattify my face. I have some MAC blushes, a NARS um, blush and a blush palette right here, and a bronzer right here. It's Casino. I have two products from the Balm. I have the Luminizer and then the bronzer. Another MAC bronzer back there. Underneath that, I have a MAC powder, and then, of course, you can see I have a Lorac powder right here so that's what I keep in the first drawer this drawer is all blushes I really have a thing for blushes it's one of my favorite face products so I have MAC Milani underneath those wet and wild and a hard candy fox in a box again and then down here I just have some more face products um, more blushes of course from NYX I love them um, and then I have a Tarte bronzer, an e.l.f. powder, two e.l.f. blushes right here, Rock and Republic powder, a MAC powder, and then underneath that I have a Hard Candy bronzer and Tiki. That's a really nice highlight if you're looking for more of a drugstore one. So that is what I keep on the top. And then here I just keep face wipes and cotton rounds. So that's that. And then I keep like a little hair clip. And then over here, I just keep Q-tips, tape, and blotting papers. So, that's that. Now we're going over here. And on top, I have the Hydroxytone Instant Lift Pads. And my favorite lotion from Bath & Body Works right now. And it's Pink Chiffon. It just smells like candy. I love it. And then I have the BH Cosmetics First Edition Palette. And this is the color palette, the 120. And then the Sedona Lace 120 Warm Palette, I think they call it. So have that up there. In this first drawer, I just have um, mascaras and liners and primers that I like to switch out pretty often. That's why I always kind of have like face, like um, favorites videos updated because I like to switch out products pretty often. So um, yeah, this is just full of extra liners, mascaras, and primers that I really like. Then here I have my concealers, um, Amazing Cosmetics, Rimmel Match Perfection, NYX, Revlon, um, just a bunch of ones that I really love. And if you guys um, want to know, because I know a lot of people are very interested in knowing what I do with products I don't use, I give them all to my cousin. I actually recently went and cleaned my makeup collection and gave all the products I don't use to my cousin, so she has those. Um, but... In this drawer, some more face products, just a bronzer, a pixie powder, a Makeup Forever powder, Hula bronzer, another Cover Talks Tin powder, MAC blush, Tarte blush, some e.l.f. products back there, and then a Wet n Wild bronzer. In here, I just have another e.l.f. HD powder, Mineral Power, um, and then a Lush Emotional Brilliance powder. Um, two setting sprays, Model in the Bottle and Scandinavia. Model in the Bottle broke me out. Scandinavia, I don't really know how I feel about it yet. So I'm not going to really tell you guys if I like it or not. Down here I keep extra palettes. So I have some Wet n Wild ones. The Greed and Vanity, which I feel like are the best palettes Wet n Wild ever came out with. Another Kat Von D, some Wet n Wild. Just a lot of Wet n Wild actually. I like that brand. And then down here I have more drugstore eyeshadows. I have Sonia Kashuk. I have Forever 21. Um, Maybelline, Wet n Wild again. Um, so all that just down there. And then in this drawer 
it's my eyelashes drawer. Basically, if I want to wear eyelashes, I'll go to this drawer. Um, and I have some extra lash glue down here. Then I also have, this is pretty much body products, but I do have a face primer and an Estee Lauder moisturizer. And I use this bronzer for my body and the same for the uh, luminizer. And then down here, I just have things that need to go back to MAC and some samples and business cards and all of that. So that is pretty much my updated makeup collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I plan on getting some new storage soon, but I'm just going to take my time with kind of revamping it. But this is pretty much what you guys are going to see. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it if you liked it. And I will see you all in the next one.